So Google have announced Stadia. Ooh, welcome back guys, Zorog Geek here. Yes, we knew that Google were working on some kind of gaming platform and we did find out that it was going to be like a streaming one. Last year we did see some people allegedly playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey via like a Google browser streaming. And I saw a bit of that and I thought, that's quite clever. And that was this project, it's called Stadia. Stadia is the plural of stadium, so presumably they mean that lots of platforms are in one. And just quickly I will read this to you because it says, Pre-release, during its beta the service received positive initial impressions. Reviewers reported that the streaming servers had low latency and felt as if the game were being played locally. And that's extremely important. You don't want to like press up and then it finally does it in the game and you press A and then he swipes the sword in the game. It needs to be like at the same time. This is here, depending on Wi-Fi speeds however, the game sometimes compressed its screen resolution or lagged. A test by The Verge, which can't be trusted for anything, found no lag issues over a wired Ethernet connection. However, even on a wired connection, the stream did not output at 4K resolution and occasionally went fuzzy with compression artifacting. But they've had time to work on the kinks and presumably they're getting there. So this is the website for the store and there's a live stream, or it's actually still going, but I'll, I'll do a bit of that footage in a minute. But let's, should we watch the video? It's a place. Where we can all play. All kinds of games. Oh, that looks nice. Click. No boxes. Yeah, but I like boxes sometimes. 60 FPS, baby. One place for all the ways you play. Okay, so there's no actual stuff going on there. So this is earlier on during a live stream, and I just want to show you a few things here because to me, I was actually quite impressed with what was going on here. First of all, that screen they've got on the stage looks amazing. And then watch this bit. So they're watching a trailer for this game on YouTube, and they think, you know, I, f I fancy having a go of playing. Uh, <laughs> that game and they click on play now and it loads up this and they click play and the game's just there instantly like if that's legit if that's actually what happens that's amazing that's quicker than any concert that's just I, I was like wow and then here you can see them playing on all sorts of platforms so he pauses it there he picks up his phone with his gamepad connected and carries on the game that he just left off because it remembers where he was. I was like, what? Is this real? Is this actually how it's working? I think that's pretty good. And then he moves on to, you know, a different PC and there's a tablet there. Just, it just, it's just cross-platform. It's, I thought it was good. And originally this was a controller they patented, so people assumed this would be for their new Stadia, the new platform thing. So it didn't look great and I must admit it doesn't look good at all. But this is how it actually looks. So you can see here, it just looks like an Xbox controller basically, but it's a lot better than that prototype or whatever that is that we just saw. And it comes in a few different colours, I suppose. It's kind of like an off-white, a black and a white. Looks looks fine, looks, looks good to me. And one of these buttons makes you stream directly or show your sort of replay up to your YouTube channel, whatever you want to do. So if you're playing a game and you're like, oh, actually, I'm going to start streaming this bit, you can press that button and it will start connecting to YouTube and all that kind of stuff. And there's even a bit where if you're playing in a game, you can all of a sudden pause it and ask Google how you beat the level. I think that's good in one way, but I can see it being abused. We shouldn't make things too easy for people to play, but it is a nifty little thing that they've just showed off there. And they really want this to link with developers, the game players, and people who like watching gameplay. So there's the 
you know, you can play your games instantly if you're on the service. You can stream them so people who like watching them can watch. And there's also this thing, for example, called state share. So you can send a particular point of a game to a, to the developer and say, oh, this is where a crash happened. Or you can send it to your friends and say, this was a really cool level, that, or I did a good time here. Do you want to try and beat it? So there's there's like interlinking between all the different people who are interested in games. And this is the head of Stadia, uh, Jade Raymond, who I'd like to marry. So hopefully she's available and I can you know, send her a tweet or something and get that going. <laughs> and for those of you who care, here are some specs. So for example, uh, Google Stadia specs. Google has released the following data for Stadia. It's a curious mixture of data points combining the kind of minutiae rarely released on some components along with notable omissions elsewhere, such as the amount of cores. Okay, yeah. Regardless, it paints a picture of a highly capable system, clearly more powerful than both the base and enhanced consoles of the moment. So the custom, it's got a custom 2.7 gigahertz hyper-threaded uh, x86 CPU, which, I mean, that's... Yeah. So a custom a AMD Ooh. GPU with whatever that is, 10.7 teraflops. That's quite good. Uh, 16 gig of RAM, standard SSD, cloud storage. That's really important. It needs to be solid state, you know, for it to work quickly. But they've basically got this mega mainframe, which has got all the games on, and that's what you're able to get from. So this is, I mean, you know how a streaming service works. It's the same as Netflix, of course. You you don't have the movies on your PC. Or wherever you're using it, you can download them, but it's streaming, and you know they just got massive servers, and they're streaming the games to you. And I don't think it sounds like you need that good a PC to use it because it is streaming. the The thing you're watching isn't playing it, so that's why you could see that person who was on their phone still playing the game. Of course, the phone couldn't usually run the Assassin's Creed game, but it's just a visual representation. It's just like watching a movie on Netflix. So it's very cool, as long as, what really concerns me is what's the latency like, what's the lag between the input like, because if there's any kind of lag, it really throws you off and it's hard to play games like that. If you're pressing up and it's not doing it for that split second, it will just mess you up. In some games that'd be fine, but for most sort of action games and stuff, you need it there responsive, you know? But overall, I, I'm quite uh, blown away by this, I think it's very good. In a way, I kind of think, why has it not been done before, to this extent? But, you know, technology is partly the limitation, but I think there's just been a boom in how many people want to play games and they've just seen the gap in the market. Everyone's either playing a game or watching someone play a game, so, you know, this is the perfect solution for that. I think everyone should be playing games, in my opinion, and I don't think anyone should be left out. I think you should be able to do it no matter what. I don't think you should have to spend lots of money to be able to do it, and, yeah, I just think this is awesome because just everyone can play and that's what gaming should be about. So yeah, they say the future of gaming is not a box. What do you think? Do you think that looks good? I do, but you should let me know what you think down below. So guys, if you like that, please click like. Make sure you're subscribed for more videos like this. I'll see you on the next video. And until then, remember, Stadia is coming. Okay, bye. Guys, if you're still here, you're awesome. Uh, but as you are still here, why not check out some of my other videos? Oh, and if you haven't already, please click subscribe. Laters, haters.